Hey, what's up with you guys? I wanted to update you on the recent progress on unisofri.com, especially to track the uni farming. Now, uh, I talked about this in my last video. You can go and check on unisof.org um, all, all the specificity of, of uh, the way you can farm in uni. But essentially, there are four pools right now that we can see right here uh, that are the Ethereum, USDT, USDC, DAI, and WBTC, where if you stake the Uniswap LP tokens in uh, the Uniswap DAO contract, you can essentially essentially farm and mint this Uniswap uh, governance token called Uni. Now, I wanted to show you how you can track your farming using Uniswap ROI, also in terms of both tracking your investment as well as deciding the new pools. So perhaps let's check for a second the new pool. So let's assume you haven't invested yet and you are considering the pools. Now, if you go here in the section pools and especially you look at the most liquid pools, the highest liquidity, you're gonna see essentially those four pools that we talked about, WBTC, Ethereum USDT, Ethereum USDC, and Ethereum DAI, they have a, spe a special, you know, in the column units of ROI, they have a special indication. So, uh, the, the, you, you should read this as follows. So, for example, in the last 30 day, the uh, projected ROI for the Ethereum WBTC is 2.66%, which analyzes about 30%, um, of which 0 0.01 is the actual yield of the pool. And you can see here the expected fees is 0 0.01 and then plus negligible and permanent loss. But then pretty much 100% of the return, this 2.64, is actually coming from the farming of uni. And if you click here, you can see, uh, I mean, the usual indicators, the value of the pool token, the uh, projection of, uh, you know, the, the, the return of the pool. And you're also going to be see here the yield from the uni farming at 30 days. And you see this tractor icon uh, is 2.64. Now you can see this for all the pools where Uniswap uh, created a um, uh, liquidity mine, uh, mining program, so this four, uh, and as Uniswap maybe extend with, with the governance vote to extend this program past November as well as to other pools, you're gonna gonna see this notation elsewhere too. So one thing I want to to um, kind of have reflect is essentially look at for example the Ethereum USDT USDC DAI like the stable coins they're basically yielding between I would say you know 40 50 percent so this is kind of back to uh, before sushi before a kind of August July uh, th this kind of stable coins pool we're actually yielding 40 50 percent but now w what's interesting is basically I would say like uh, more than probably 85, 90% of the return is actually due to the farming of, of uh, uni versus actually the fees on the pool. The reason is that the liquidity uh, in these pools uh, kind of increased enormously in the, in the past uh, kind of week due to the fact that Uniswap uh, created this liquidity mining program. And so uh, the, 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 the pool size, we, we can even check one just to, just to show you. So, you know, if you look at here, and if we look at the pool size, 30 days ago in Ethereum for this pool was 50,000, then it became 700,000 with the sushi, I think, and then 400,000 now is a million, right? So the pool size it became enormous, and this means that the fees are kind of diluted because they are distributed between many, many people. But now you also have the return from uh, uni. And kind of this is making up, is kind of bringing back the return of where it used to be. Uh, and I would say this is pretty similar to a CRV for Curve. I want to do a video specifically on Curve now that the white pool is also uh, tracked here in my tool. Uh, watch out for that video is coming too. So this is in terms of really looking at future pools to invest, but I want to also show you what's going on with the tracking of existing pools. Now, I want to show you a specific case of a kind of whale address here. So it's kind of $30 million of, of liquidity parked here. But I want to show you that first, if you already invested and, and are farming uni, you're going to see uh, this yellow component in the charts here. So, for example, this this uh, address has two pools, uh, USDC and DAI, and uh, he, he kind of staked uh, some of the LP tokens uh, in, in the uh, liquidity mining program for USDC. So if I click here, then we zoom into the pool, you, we're going to see a few interesting things. So first, uh, we, we can see here in the table that uh, th there is a new uh, new uh, voice here, which is called a new entry called Uni Farming ROI. So right now you have the net ROI, which is the overall ROI of the position, in this case in US dollars, which is made of the price ROI, so the, the change due to the price, which is a minus 2%. But then you have a plus 0.86% of the pool ROI, which is the fees. 
And then plus you have 0.17% of the farming ROI, which is the Uniswap staking program. And um, the other thing you can see related to the staking here in this table is that you can see how you know how much of your pool tokens you staked uh, to the to the Uniswap uh, kind of DAO, and uh, in this case, the user staked 46% of the LP tokens. He has 0.58 LP tokens. 46% uh, of them he, he went on and staked um, in the uh, in, in, in the DAO to, to to mint new Uni. Now the other thing is, which is interesting is really looking at the chart. So here is the chart of the you know in blue you see the fees accumulated fees um, for this pool uh, accumulated by this user and in yellow you see the uni farming so what happened is that starting on September 18 basically when the announcement came out there was so much influx of, of inflow of liquidity in the Uniswap pool that the accumulation of fee that the fee went we're, we're basically plateauing, right? There's no, like the, the, the rate at which the fee accumulates went down a lot. So if we take out, for example, the yellow component, it looks like almost like if the fee are, are now zero, right? There is no longer a fee. But when I actually enable the, the, the yellow piece, which is the, um, uh, you know, accumulation of, of the uni earn via staking, they make up um, you know, pretty much the same progression of the fees. And consider that this user only staked 46%. So if he staked 100%, you would see this uh, yellow bars even, even higher. So potentially you would see even this curve actually accelerating, not even like just continuing, uh, you know, with the same slope. So I, I thought that was, was interesting to see. And uh, if you um, st went on and staked for, for this, uh, you know, um, stable coins pool, you're going to be able to see um, these yellow bars as as well in, in your case and uh, really track what's going on with your staking. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions as usual, um, feel free to comment in Uniswap you, you uh, see here and uh, my Telegram link to chat directly with me um, or otherwise my hand, a Twitter handle if you want to tweet to, um, um, to myself. You can also see if you are a frequent user of Uniswap, you see this invite to our private community on Telegram is about 200 people, very selected, very uh, kind of curated. But I, I think I, I'm getting ex extremely high feedback, uh, good feedback in terms of uh, the quality of the discussion. So you should get that and uh, you, you can join and, uh, you know, I'll see you there. And um, if you like the content, like and subscribe. And until next time, have a great time, guys, and uh, talk soon.